For anyone who wants to paint landscapes, Maine is a great place to work. It offers artists four dramatically different seasons, along with an endless variety of forests, lakes, islands, mountains, and more. Nathaniel Meyer is one artist who is happy to be here. He works out of a studio in Portland and has done a lot of teaching over the years, but now his teaching workload has lightened considerably, which raises the question, is it exciting or intimidating when an artist suddenly finds he has almost unlimited time to paint? It's, it's been great. It's something that I've dreamed about uh, for ever since I started painting, it's just being able to do it full time. And I don't know how sustainable it will be, but uh, for right now, it's been, it's been amazing. When you have nothing else on your schedule except I go to work and I paint, do you ever worry about, eh, I don't have any particular good ideas today? They say that work begets work. And so as uh, I'm working in the studio, I just get better ideas as I go. So it's usually, that's, that's kind of the way it works. Let's go back to the start. When was the first time that you began to paint in any kind of a serious way? Uh, well, my, my father was a painter, um, and so we always had that in, in the house growing up. Uh, and then I got into it in high school. Uh, my brother is a year older than me, and he got into it first, and we've always been kind of competitive. So as soon as he started doing it, I thought, all right, I got to give this a shot. And, you know, the art room uh, at my high school was kind of an oasis, and uh, it just kind of grew from there. And then I went to art school and then just started doing it all the time. What kind of work do you like to do? What is it that brings out the best in you? I guess you'd call me a landscape painter. Um, I do, I kind of divide my time between big studio landscapes and smaller plein air stuff where I go out into the field and get hassled by tourists and, uh, <laughs> you know, but do my best to make a painting in one shot, whereas, you know, in the studio stuff, it's larger and multi-session. So you're out there and you've got your easel and you've got your canvas and you've got your paint and the tourists stop and they look at you. Yeah. What do they say? Well, they just want to talk and they don't realize that you're working. You know, I'm trying to get something done. And so they'll just, just start chewing the fat. And there's a couple things that you can do to kind of nip that in the bud. Such as? Uh, wear headphones and uh, take your shirt off. If, if you don't have a shirt on, no one wants to approach the shirtless man. <laughs> That's a good tip. It totally works. <laughs> you said that you and your brother were sort of competitive when you guys were teenagers. Mm -hmm. You and your brother now share studio space. Oh, yeah. Does that help you both creatively? Or oh, yeah. does that create some friction? Well, kind of both. We also have, have worked on a series of collaborative uh, narrative paintings. So we... Uh, it makes for some good fights. But, you know, we're both passionate about it, and I think, you know, that slight competitiveness uh, lends itself to getting more work done, and more work is better work. You said that your father was a painter. You grew up uh, dividing your time between South Florida, where you were during the school year, and mm -hmm. then as soon as school was over, boom, you're up here to the coast of Maine in the small town of Korea, down east. Yep. What is Maine like as a place to paint? I think that there's, pro there's no place like it. It's, uh, I mean, that, I think that's why we have that tradition of Maine landscape is because it's, it's, a, singular, it's a singular place. Uh, you know, it's a young coastline, geologically speaking, but it's, it just seems so ancient. And uh, it's, so, it's just very strong. And it lends itself to, uh, to the putting down of paint, for sure. For an artist working with paint, light is so important. Often what you're trying to do is capture a certain slant of light. What is the light like in Maine? It's been described as gray. <laughs> uh, like even on a sunny day. For, eh, for five months from that November sunny. to April? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but usually it's, there's a crispness there that I, I don't think you get other places, which you know might be why my work has kind of a hard edge quality. You've also done a lot of teaching. You taught at Lewiston High School oh, yeah. for uh, 17, 18 years. 17 years. What did you learn from that student, particularly from experience, from, from students? What did you learn from the young artists that you wouldn't have known otherwise? Oh, geez. Um, I think my ability to convince somebody to do something they don't want to do, I'm way better at that now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn the art of persuasion. Oh my God, yeah. It, but you, I mean, they were great kids and I enjoyed every moment of it. But there's definitely, you know, in a class of 20 kids, there's going to be five that just don't want to do it. You're not really doing any teaching now. This is, uh, as we said, a, a time when you've got 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours a week to paint, which you've never really had before. Right. 
Is that liberating? Oh, it's amazing. I am teaching one class at uh, Southern Maine Community College right now, but still, it's two days a week, so the rest of the time is is nothing but painting. And it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's what I thought about when I was a public school teacher is I wish I could paint full time and I am painting full time and it's amazing. Um, it's, I'm doing exactly what I'd be doing if I won the lottery except for eating more beans and rice. So, you know, sometimes you ask people, what's the dream? Sounds as though right now you really are kind of oh living God. the dream. Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, you never have enough time to spend in the studio when, you know, because most artists you're holding down a day job and I've been lucky enough that my day job is art related uh, but it's still, it's not the same thing of just being able to go in and crank every single day. I don't know how well I'd do not having the deadline, not having the oh. boss telling me that I've got to get stuff done. We need that <laughs> deadline for sure. Uh. Yeah, we would not thrive in that environment. <laughs> I don't think so. Nathaniel Meyer has a new exhibition of his work that you can see starting this week. It opens Thursday at the Elizabeth Moss Galleries in Falmouth and it runs through May 18th. Just head to the 207 section of our website or mobile app for more information.